looking at me i'm looking back hi you all how are you welcome back to our channel hope you're having a wonderful day so far so today i am very proud to introduce a new series on our channel this is a channel where this is a series where riya will be giving book recommendations to people her age uh, which is in the teens basically and uh, uh, Ria is a voracious reader, so she reads about uh, I think a book every two days, and I have seen that her friends and people in school and even the librarian asks her uh, what books would she recommend because she reads so fast and she takes out the time to read, and of course that's the reason why she has an amazing vocabulary and she's able to conduct herself the way she does, and she's very much more mature than her age. So uh, 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 Ria, why don't you tell us what you're going to do today? So today, I'm showing you some of my personal favorites that I think all teens should read at least once. Many of these books I have read more than once because they're just that good. Just a quick disclaimer in there, we don't own any of these characters or have copyright over any of these books. This is just for entertainment purposes where we are showing you some of our favorite book recommendations. And this is not a sponsored video, we're just doing it because we would love to encourage other teens to read. Uh, it's a very good habit, it teaches you uh, 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 amazing vocabulary, language, it tells you all about the world uh, or some of these books are historical so they, it talks a lot about the history. So this is just about uh, letting everyone know what amazing books you can read. Uh, and so without further ado, let's go on into the video. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm going to start with The Endless Deep by Esther Hodgman. Sorry if I said that incorrectly. So this book is historical fiction and it really leaves an imprint about you. So it is only about 245 pages and it is so good. So let me just read the back to you. In the bitter desolation of Siberia, Esther and her family fight to stay alive. It is June 1941. The Rudumin family has been arrested by Russians. They are capitalists, enemies of the people. Forced from their home and friends in Vilna, Poland, they are herded into crowded cattle cars, their destination, the endless deep of Siberia. For five years, Esther and her family live in exile, weeding potato fields and working in the mines, struggling for enough food and clothing to stay alive. Only the strength of the family sustains them and gives them hope for the future. And as you guys can see, the main character in this book is Esther, and the author of this book is Esther. It is a true story, and that's one of the main reasons why it hits so nicely. It it pulls out your heartstrings. It's just so good. I would totally recommend this one. Okay, so the second book is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. This is a fantasy novel, which is the first book in the three book trilogy. The second book being The Wicked King, the third book being The Queen of Nothing, with many other novellas on the side. So let me just read you guys the back. Sharpen your blade, harden your heart. Jude was seven when her parents were murdered, and she and her two sisters were stolen away to live in the treacherous High Court of Fairy. Ten years later, Jude wants nothing more than to belong there, but many fae despise humans, especially Prince Cardin, the youngest and wickedest king of the sun. The king... <laughs> wickedest son of the High King. To win a place at the court, Jude must defy him and face the consequences. This book is only 370 pages long and it is super good and worded beautifully. It really shows the struggle of wanting to fit into a new society and how difficult it could be and feel like an outsider. I love the main character. She's such a strong female character. I love books with a strong female character and it really gives you a chill. It has a little tiny speck of romance, but not really. It's mostly focusing on Jude's story. I love this book. Okay, so the next book is The Throne, Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas, who is one of my all-time most favorite authors ever. So this book has a very strong feminine character, Selena, and it is super good. It really shows about what hardship she has to become over to be the strong, independent person she is today. So let me read you the back. Two men love her. The whole land fears her. She can only save them all. The own, in the world about magic, an assassin is summoned to the castle. She comes not to kill the vicious king who rules from his throne, but to win her freedom. If she defeats 23 killers, thieves and warriors in competition, she'll be released from a 
from the prison to serve as the king's champion. Her name is Selena Tajoin. The crown prince will provoke her, the captain of the guard will protect her, and the princess from a faraway land will befriend her. But something evil dwells in the castle, and it's there to kill. When her competitors start dying one by one, Selena's fight to freedom becomes a fight for survival, and a desperate quest to root out evil before it destroys the world. This book is so amazing. It has a little bit of romance, but a great, strong female character. It is the first book in an eight book series. It may sound long, but it is all very worth it. You get to really see how Selena evolves over the books and trust me, you're gonna wanna read this book. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Okay, so the next book is The Red Queen by Victoria Avian. Okay, this book is so, so good. I have recommended this book to all my friends. I've read it multiple times. It never fails to captivate me and surprise me. It is the first book in a four book series with one novella on the side. So let me just read you guys back. Mare Barrow's world is divided by blood. Those red, those with red and those with silver. Mare and her family are lowly reds, destined to serve silver elite whose supernatural Abilities make them nearly gods. Mare steals what she can to help her family survive, but a twist of fate leads her to the royal palace itself, where, in front of the kin king and all his nobles, she discovers an ability she didn't know she had, except her blood is red. To hide this impossibility, the king forces her into the role of the lost silver princess and betrothes her to one of his sons. As Mare is drawn further into the silver world, her actions put her into a deadly and violent dance, pitting prince against prince and mare against her own heart. This book is so good. It has it's romance but fantasy at the same time. This world is so unique and it really shows how the difference between these red and silver bloods. It shows how even just one person can help spark a rebellion so huge it could take down a whole nation. I love this book. It is super good. Again, a very strong female character and I think it's amazing. You should read this one. Okay, the next is a classic, The Fault in Our Stars. The Fault in Our Stars is the number one New York Times bestseller, and it's also a movie. It's by John Green. Okay, so let me read you guys the back. Despite the, trum the tumor shrinking medical miracle that has brought her a few years, Hazel has never been anything but terminal. Her final chapter inscribed upon diagnosis. But a gorgeous plot twist named Augustus Waters suddenly appears at Cancer Kids Support Group. Hazel's story is about to be completely rewritten. This one is a romance book, but it is so sad. If you need a good cry, I would definitely recommend this book. Hazel is such an amazing character, and her relationship with Augustus is really eye-opening. I think this is such a good book. And in most editions as well, it has... Some pictures from the movies, which I thought was a really unique thing to include in this book. So I would definitely say to go read this book. The last book for this video is, has to be The Six of Crows by Leigh Barjo. By the way, another series by Leigh Barjo is coming to Netflix, so make sure to look out for that. So Six of Crows is about Kaz Breaker, our main character, and it's just truly such an amazing book. It really shows how him and his team of criminals and thieves are actually more of a family than they could have ever thought they are. So let me just give you guys a sneak peek at the back. Kether Dam, a bustling hub of international trade where anything can be had for the right price. And no one knows the, and no one knows that better than criminal prodigy Kaz Breaker. Kaz is offered a chance at a deadly heist that could make him rich beyond the wildest dreams, but he can't pull it off alone. A convict with a thirst for revenge. A sharp shoot a sharpshooter who can't walk away from a wager, a runaway with the privileged past, a spy known as the Wraith, a heart tender using her magic to survive in the slums, a thief with a gift for unlikely escapes. Kaz's crew is the, one, the only one that might stand between the world and destruction if they don't kill each other first. It's really good. It is a number one time New York, the author is a number one time best-selling author and it is such beautifully written. It really shows 
how you can fight with your family but still love each other at the same time. Would definitely recommend this book. Thank you so much for joining us today and watching our video. I hope you enjoyed all the recommendations that Ria gave for this video uh, to all your teen and tweens and even adults. I take recommendations from her all the time and I hope you do too. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books, which one's your favorite, and any book recommendations you have for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to all your friends who you think might enjoy this, these books. We'll see you in the next video very soon. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.